Hey guys, Fulham here. Welcome back to a new video now today. I'm going to be going to Arsenal versus Manchester City. It's first place versus sixth place. It's a big one because they've just played in the Carabao Cup final at Wembley a few days ago. And obviously Man City won that 3-0. A bit of a thrashing, you know, they come down to London. Arsenal, obviously last time at Wembley, they get big wins. They usually do well at Wembley, but they got battered by Man City. And I hate to say it, but I think it's going to happen again. If I was to predict the score right now, I'd go with a 2-0 Man City win. I don't think it'll be as dominant as the Carabao Cup final. I just don't think the Arsenal team is as strong together and play as a team enough to beat this Manchester City team who are going to win the Premier League anyway. So I'm sorry to say, uh, Arsenal fans, but I think it's going to be 2-0 City. And you probably agree with me anyway. They're on form at the moment. They're going to win the league. They've just won the Carabao Cup. Uh, their morale is high, obviously Arsenal just lost, Bellerin, you know, he's been saying some words behind the camera, it's not been going very well recently with Arsenal Football Club, and I, I feel so bad for the fans, but today I'm going to be going to a vlog, thank you very much to my mate Seb for inviting me to this game, and it's so weird, they're playing again, they played a few days ago and they're playing again, let's see if it's any different. Appreciate that. Um, obviously, you played City the other day, and you played them again at the Emirates. What's going to happen? Last time. No, you don't. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? Um, well, I'm going to be positive and optimistic. Yeah. And say two one to Arsenal. Two one to Arsenal. But um, whether that happens or not, we'll see. Fair enough. Okay. Well, you say two one to Arsenal. Very positive, considering Man City beat you three 0 the other yeah, day. No, that but, be. but, who's going to score? Uh, I think Aubameyang will bag one in and Ozil as well. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Because we got Welbeck, so he's. Oh yeah, Welbeck will make the difference, won't he? No, he won't. He'll make the difference. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, cool. All right, cheers. The lines, they're blue, which I think I rate it. Obviously, because of the snow, they think it might snow today, so they've got to cover the lines in another colour. They've gone for a light blue colour. Obviously, that's Manchester City, so like, Arsenal fans might be a bit annoyed about that, but I'm not sure they get permission to do it. Red. <laughs> Attendances seem to be quite low, mainly because a lot of Arsenal fans don't want to see another 3 0 loss. I mean, we saw it a few days ago. I'm not sure they're up to see another one. So that's why I know I do know Sam, who sits over there, he's not going today. Arsenal here. Oh. It's been slipped, nothing from it though. Edison's got it. Now City counter attacking. Now they, they're usually quite good on the break. They've got a lot of pace in that side. De Bruyne. Oh, oh, he's played him in. He's played him in. Kun Aguero. Side netting. Obviously Aguero scored a few days ago against Arsenal. Will he do it again today? I'm going to say yes. I think he will get a goal. I think he'll take, get one of the two. Seb. Will Aguero score today? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But will he? Yes or no? I think. I think if if City score, I think he'll buy the goal. Yeah. I think he's most likely. Oh, right. oh. Good effort. Edison has that covered. City seem off the ball today. Obviously, they're a, they're a team that are about to win the Premier League. And these long balls and stuff, it's just not linking. Maybe it's the weather. You know, you've got a lot of foreign players. They might not like the snow. Maybe, maybe it's the blue lines. Maybe it's the blue lines. Maybe it's the cake. Because they've just won a Carabao Cup. But something isn't working for City. Uh, but no, uh, to be fair, it's only been 13 minutes. So I could just say that and the game ends 3-0. And my point doesn't matter. But, you know. Well, it's been 15 minutes and City have scored. Very nice finish from, I think it was Bernardo, Bernardo Yeah, Bernardo Silva. And uh, City go to celebrate. Let's get a bit of their fans in the action. They are loving it. They are loving it. Fair play. 
I've just said they're off the ball and then suddenly they whip out a goal. That's what a Premier League winning side do. One second you think they're not playing, the next they score. Don't give Man City a chance. Here's a lot of sad faces. Arsenal on the break. Well back. From this distance, it has to be a Xhaka shot. Like Ozil, you know, he can colour ball, but this is too far out. Xhaka should hit this. See what happens. See if they've got a uh, something I've learned in the training ground set up here. I don't know. It's a Jack boom. Oh, and that was that was close. Powerful shot there from Xhaka. And low. That was very hard to save. Here come Arsenal. They played it out. Oh, very good save from Edison. City free kick. Dangerous. Oh, check can't get a hand to it. City. They've scored again. They have scored again. And it has literally been 27 minutes, 28 minutes, and they've scored again. Let's get the fans' reaction. Not as crazy as the first. They're pretty used to it now. 27 minutes. 2 0 down at home. You thought. You'd have thought that Arsenal would have known how City play by now. They just played them a few days ago. Just clock what they're going to do, you know. They're playing a similar team. And it's 2-0. It's 2-0 down. And it's only been 27 minutes, 28 minutes. Ah. Uh, not a happy fan. And the ball's in and it could be 3-0 here. It's squared. This is actually a joke. This is actually a joke. There is. 12 minutes left till half time, so obviously it hasn't even been that long and Man City have scored again. There are the fans. If you thought the Carabao Cup game was bad, that ended 3-0. This game was 3-0 and there's still 12 minutes till half time, not full time, half time. De Bruyne here. Oh god, City plays such good football. It's just uncontrolled. Bernardo Silva here. The ball's in. It's Petr Cech's goal. Sarcastic laughs and cheers from the Arsenal fans. Because <laughs> Petr Cech has saved something. I mean, Arsenal's just become a joke. They're celebrating passes now. They're celebrating passes now. So that just portrays how many empty seats that there are today at the Emirates. Not good enough, honestly. More Arsenal fans need to turn up to the games. I can promise you that most of these seats that are open have been sold because of season tickets or people just don't turn up. Just because it's snowing or a midweek game doesn't mean you can't turn up to the game. Terrible performance and a terrible attendance. Overall, not happy. Seb, what were your thoughts on that first half? Pretty shit, mate. Yeah. I think the highlight of the half was the snow. It was the snow, yeah. yeah nice. Highlight of the day, anyway. <laughs> But yeah, 3 0 half time. What do you expect to happen in the second half? Will you turn up? No, I don't No, you don't. So. Is it going to be a few more goals and just end like 5 0? I, I think possibly they could get a goal and then maybe we get a goal yeah. as well. Yeah. So maybe like 4 1 or something. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe the 2 1 prediction was a bit optimistic. Yeah. No, I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to be a very boring second half. No goals from both sides and a 3 0 full time. The City don't need to go forward and Arsenal just. It's too far for them now. So that's my opinion. Uh, not good from Arsenal, but very good play from City. Semenga has uh, done it again. He's done it again. Simply. He's done it again. Honestly, he, um, he's got his tactics 100% spot on today. Yeah. Only 3 0 at half time. See, it could be 4 0. It, it could be 4 0. It could be. But it's not. But it's 3 0. It could be fine, though, to be honest. You it could what? be fine. The only reason Arsenal are losing is because of the snow. Yeah. If it was a oh. sunny day. Oh, and also the lines are blue today. So, yeah, the lines are blue. So, so City think they're at home. That's why, no, that's why it they're losing. Really is. City think they're at home, and that's the reason they're losing. And um, yeah, I think Bellerin's had a, a super start today. Yeah, um, oh, Bellerin, 10 out of 10. Let's get a half time rating. <laughs> Wait, let, let's come on. Bam Yang, 12 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah, right. Oh, God. 55 out of 10. The way he's marked Bernard, Bernardo Silva out the game. He's only scored one. He could have scored two. Yeah, he could, could have scored, scored three. 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 Yeah. But, um, no, 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 no. Only scored two. Uh, only scored one, actually. Um, anyway, this whole thing was a load of bollocks. But, yeah. And the fans are happy because Arsenal have been awarded a penalty. Well, there we go. It's 3-0. There's 38 minutes left in the second half, so it's only been it's only been like seven minutes and Arsenal got a penalty. Could this be a game changer? Could Arsenal come back into the game from this? Well first you need to score it, but it's gonna be 3-1. Do you think Arsenal could get back into this? Surely not. Oh, a Bamiang to take. Oh my god, he's missed! He's actually missed! Oh my god. 
and it stays 3-0. It is really depressing for Arsenal. Aubameyang oh. has missed the penalty, Edison saved it. It is properly bad for Arsenal right now. It must be so depressing to be an Arsenal fan, man. Oh. Pierre Emery Aubameyang misses. Aubameyang. Oh! It could have been good, but it just didn't go in. Seb's going. He can't take the cold and he can't take the scoreline. Oh, they are 23 minutes left in the game. And uh, he's gone. He's gone. He's not taking it. There we go. That just sums up the Arsenal fans, you know, at the moment. They just can't take it. Look at all these empty seats in front of me. That's shocking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Torre, Colo Torre, chance to come out at City. There's no real fight in this Arsenal team, that's what I see. And they're, they're not going to get back into a game without a fight, and, and Arsenal haven't proved it. And Bellerin's just messed up a pass. Shocking. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's going to end like this for sure. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe, and uh, I'll be doing some important vlogs very soon. So, yeah. If I'm, I might leave some clips from Arsenal Hunting Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Catch you later. Bye.